today's shout out goes to hello everyone welcome to pranavastics of today so today i am going to be teaching you web development as yes, that is html i'm going to be teaching you okay so first of all let's learn everything first of all let's learn what is html html is markup language this is used for website making okay it is a markup language with html you can create your own website you can create your own website like google etc when you open google chrome when you open chrome you will see the first page that's also called a web page so what's a markup language definition i'm going to admit markup language means with which we can mark everything like i'm marking with this pen like this so html stands for hyper text markup language HTML is a markup language, not a programming language. Programming language is used to design programs. It, we are marking like this. We are like marking like this. Like this, we are marking with HTML. But it is not a programming language because why? There are a few people will ask. I'm telling the reason why because you know HTML. No one does consider HTML as programming language because we don't make programs with it. We don't make any apps with it. Plus C, C plus plus, Java are few examples of programming language which we used to design such apps. So now we are going to be. So now I am going to be showing you all the HTML. tags and everything okay before that there are few important full forms you need to learn so what is http http stands for hyper text transfer protocol what is https https and http both are same but it has this s it, http doesn't have as https as s hyper text transfer protocol s s stands for s e c u r e s e q and w w w w w w stands for world wide web which you mostly see in few names like w w w dot google dot com w w w dot office dot com and etc So now I'm going to be showing you how you can easily write some HTML code. You don't need any editor kind of thing. You just press Windows key R, which opens Run, or else you can go to your Start menu also, and so type in here Notepad. And you'll get Notepad, and click on Enter. And now, as you can see. now we got this one notepad so first of all we are going to be taking a look at the code while writing so first of all write type this okay so html is not a case sensitive means means a is equal HTML is not case sensitive. So a is equals to a, and a, and this a is equals to also a. So this is not case sensitive. So so a is equals to this one only. I'll just first type type. this equals to welcome it's not case sensitive okay so let me just explain it. 
first tag. The first tag is doc type HTML. So now what are you talking about? What's this doc type HTML? Here we are loading the sorry for that. Here we are loading the HTML element. Whole HTML we are loading it. Next comes the head tag. So there are also tags in HTML like this head. Each tag has its closing tag. There you go. You can see here each tag has its closing tag like this. It's having its own closing tag. Every tag has a closing tag. To just do that closing tag, just write this tag. Whichever tag you have kept. Just write that tag and put a slash like this and there you go. So I'm going to open this and so what's this head tag? Head tag is used for the header. Once after we save it, I'm going to show you. Head tag is mainly used for saving. Means it's for the top where you can see an untitled notepad like that you can display there. All the elements you can load in header tag. It all comes in the head and it comes first. Next comes the title tag. Now what's this title tag? I'm going to explain. So as you can see here, untitled notepad is given. As I can this is the browser window I'm assuming. Here you can see untitled notepad. Okay. So like that you can display text. Title tag, then a plastic first website. Okay, so when we are gonna save it, oops, I forgot the closing tag. When we first save it and see, we are gonna get everything. So I'm done the title, so we are gonna use the body tag. So right now. That means it's at the closing tag also. What's this body tag? So over here you can see all this text, right? Which we are typing right now. Which this is gonna be displayed in the center. Not at the top, not at the bottom. It's gonna be displayed over here. This is the whole body area. So now I'm gonna we are gonna just type something welcome to Renovas please subscribe we are so close to yes guys we are gonna type it like this as well as we are close to 100 subscribers so please whoever has not subscribed please subscribe it so now file and click on save as and i'm gonna save it on a nice location i'm gonna save that as my first html page okay so don't save it right now you can give any name click on this save as type and you can select you can see all the types i can't see so if you can't see any all the types just dot html okay and now click on save button so now it has saved so now i'm gonna be showing you where the file located right now the file is located over here just double click on it and it can open in over here and you can see here this one right now i'm going to explain the code also with the website so as you can see here here we've loaded that whole html and in the head tag we have kept the title tag where you can see a phenomastic first website you can keep any in it you can see here and over here in body in body you can see here we are so close to 100 subscribers some text like this you can also see here the text we wrote okay so now 
let's just go on with other tags because if it's so empty like this only if we keep on writing it then we can't fulfill our needs like if you want the big text big and small we cannot do it so for that if we write plain we can't so first of all i'm going to explain you the tag p p stands p tag p stands for paragraph this is a para graph okay so whatever you write in the paragraph tag you can see it and you can later give some styling also which, which i'm going to explain you in my css tutorial all the stylings how to make the web page look more cool like this let me just open any any web page and show you you can make it like this colorful so much colorful okay so right now i have changed the text and saved that but we can't even see it why click on this reload button you can see this is a paragraph you can see our text so now i'm going to explain you the h1 tag so h1 h tag okay h we possibly call it as h tag because there are in in h tag there are many styles from 1 to 6 okay so we basically call this h tag from 1 to 6 so let's me just explain it to you h1 tag this is h1 tag h2 h3 h4 h5 oops and h6 h2 tag This is H three tag. This is H four tag. This is H five tag. This is H six. Okay, okay so now we have written it i'm going to save that and reload this one you can see everything this is the h1 tag h1 tag looks way much big h2 tag looks medium size h3 tag looks some small H4 tag looks like this. H5, H6 tag looks so small. Then a paragraph tag, then a P tag, it's so small. Then this paragraph tag. Okay, so now these are the basic tags which are used to display text. So now I want to display an image. So what? should i do hmm so to display image just type in img tag it's equal img src is equals to double quotes and write that so now what is this i'm going to explain you the img tag this is image src what is the meaning of src is source where can we get that source type in any image get myself best images you can search it in google 
and click here and I got this one you can what you can do is right click and click on save image as okay else you can click on that if you want to add any nice image then click on that link click here and open image a new tab you're gonna get this URL copy this one and close this and in a notepad near the SRC place type this one okay over here what you can do is type in type in alt tag also you know? it's not what's the uh, alt also alt when you reload that you can see here this is the image i'm going to show you how to resize it you can resize everything with css and explain that in my css tutorial so right now it's like this so what i'm going to do is type in alt is equals to IMG in alt you can type in any text you like I'm just typing it IMG and I'm gonna just remove some part from the URL yeah, so now when you reload this you can't the image is gone right, because we didn't provide a specific path over here and the alternative we kept it as img so it's showing alternative that the image is not loaded from there or else you can like just instead of this big url you can also if it's in your local system you can like just type it type the path of it okay so now image tag is very useful to keep images so thank you for watching this video guys i hope you liked it if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and please quickly subscribe because we are so close to 100 subscribers so see you in the next video till that time bye bye hi everyone please watch this video and subscribe and share it